everybody. Um, I had a request to do, or to try to do, um, one of my pours where the wave comes cresting over the top. So what I went ahead and did was, this is just a 16 by 20 um, canvas. Oh, there's a bug on there. Um, what I went ahead and did is, the hair from my brush. Um, so I went ahead and, sorry, that would have bothered me. Um, painted a little bit around the canvas. This does have Floatrol in it, um, but it does not have any silicone in this base coat that I had right here. So for my normal wave, I flood it with white and then I just have a cresting wave. But this one, to break like that, you, you need this extra space over here. Um, gosh, I had a lot of stuff for my bristles. Okay, so I've got, um, let me see here. I've got Artist Loft Aqua Green, uh, Artist Loft Cobalt, Metallic Cobalt, uh, Creative Inspirations Paints Gray, and Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. And I'm using Artist Loft White as well. Let me see if my white is the right consistency. I might add a little bit. So you want these paints a little bit thinner. I have silicone drops in my um, colors and nothing in the white. So the way that the wave, the wave normally crests is the darker colors down here and then the lighter colors as the light hits through the water. So I'm gonna start, I always start with my darkest color down here. So I'm gonna start, and this is all I'm doing right here. And that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. A little bit of, I always squeeze it to get it out. I have some more over here if I need to make any more up. And then I'm gonna come in with this color, my brilliant blue color. You know, the wave's gonna come cresting right over here, so. So there we go for that color. You want to have enough color on here so that your colors can overlap a little bit. Then I'm going to come in. I'm going to have a little bit more of this color up top. I'm going to overlap that a little bit. Squeezing that out in there. And then my lighter color, I'm gonna just kind of start up here and I'm gonna reserve a little bit of that for get a little bit in here over top of these. See, it doesn't look like much when it starts out, but once these colors blend together, it becomes really pretty. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of white to start because I wanna save the white really for my cresting up there. So, I have my nifty little tool here, if you guys can see it. Um, I love using this tool. But you'll see immediately as I start swiping, so I'm gonna swipe down a little bit. I'll start getting the cells. Let me get a paper towel. So you wanna wipe, I'm gonna wipe this off in between. Let that flow over the side there. Cells are already starting to form. But that right there is why I went ahead and, ooh, that's getting messy. That's why I went ahead and um, covered the canvas so that I wouldn't have to worry about that. That is the first layer. Get some on the edges, right? Okay, so now you wanna give the illusion that it's cresting over this way. So I'm gonna just pull this back out and along this way a little bit. So. Have your background there. 
and I had painted this side already that's why I painted that so it's still got a couple a few little bubbles bubble cells popping out right over there now I'm going to come through with my white over the top here there down through here and then I'm going to get a couple of little um, little whites through here kind of like the lines of the ocean okay now I'm going to come back in with my little tool I'm going to come over the top like that. Get your little tool. Oops. Dribbled a little bit, but we can fix that because this is going to come back down like this anyway. Got to get a new paper towel. through there like that and that white will bleed through it here and back down that way so you just keep playing with it until you get the kind of what you want out of it so like for me right here I want to swipe that down a little bit more I want these I felt like those got a little bit muddy I wanted to swipe those a little bit more but the cells will just continue popping up when it starts getting super muddy you know it's time to stop but if it has not you can continue playing with this and giving it more depth so like that's pretty cool right there Ooh, that's pretty neat you guys I'm gonna put a little bit more white right in here and then I might do if I've got any I have this one left. I might go up through there a little bit. But the important part was to, for this one, was to swipe the color off that side first and then come back down with it. So like up here, I'm gonna have a little bit more. Oh, my white's a little bit runny, you guys. The white should not be that runny. That is why I'm not getting quite the effect that I want up here on the crest. That's okay, I'll show you a couple tricks for that too. So up here, I'll swipe it this way. And then back down. And I mean, water does not, I mean, it's not like a straight line, you know? So whatever ends up happening here is fine. This is the most important part of it here to give the illusion of the cresting wave, though. I'm going to mix a little bit more paint, actually, into my white. Just a tiny bit to thicken that up. I had too much water. It was too runny.
Oh, you guys, I'm like splattering paint everywhere. It's just the tiniest bit too runny. So now it's back to a at least kind of pourable consistency. So I want maybe a little bit right there, a little bit right there. A little bit right there. One more on down in there. Much better. Just want a couple of little, oh man, I had too much blue on there still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up some of that white, and bring it back over that way. Make sure you're wiping your, your tool off, you guys. Very important to wipe your tool off. This part right here, I'm just gonna drag on down like that. This last little bit of white that I got to replace that part right there. This is always like a little work in progress, you know? You could never be done with this painting or do it very quickly. right there. That's where I want it. There you go. And if you want to pick up any of the paint like on the side and you know you can play around with it and come back in. Back on this side sometimes I'll just wipe it right here. You know, now it's coming off the edge. Come back in right through there and then carry that over. Whatever you want to do. Bring that on through there. Sometimes I like to give kind of the illusion. You just don't want to go too close to the canvas. But I mean, like, water has a mind of its own normally, you know? Anyway, I could mess with this forever, but I just wanted you guys to see when someone had requested. So there it is. It's how I do my ocean pour. If you wanted to come right back down in through there, you could. But like I said, you could keep messing with this for days. But see, my cells are starting to muddy. By that I mean all my colors are mixing together. So for me, personally, I know it's time to stop. So I'll take it down and I'll show you what it looks like. All 
So this was just a quick tutorial. See, this is what I mean by the cells muddying a little bit together. I liked it before when they were a little bit um, more defined. But that's what the top looks like. And that's it. That is my crashing rolling wave. All right. Thank you guys. See you later.